Yo guys, Rethink Solutions here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to optimize you guys' Windows network settings in order to provide you with the lowest ping and best latency in your games. Let's jump into it. Yo guys, Rethink Solutions here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to optimize you guys' Windows network settings in order to provide you with the lowest ping and best latency in your games. Let's jump into it. Let's start by going to the bottom left and let's go ahead and type in control panel in our search bar. Let's go ahead and open it up. Now you guys are going to see network and sharing center. Let's go ahead and click on that. Then let's go ahead and click on change adapter settings in the top left. I currently have an ethernet. If you guys have an ethernet like me, it'll say this, whatever you guys it says here, right click it and then properties. Now, if you guys have Ethernet like me, you're going to untick everything besides the IPv4 option. So let's untick everything besides the IPv4. If you have Wi-Fi, it may say Wi-Fi somewhere. Make sure you keep that enabled. Do not disable Wi-Fi if it says Wi-Fi. I do not have Wi-Fi, so if you guys have Ethernet like me, yours should look just like this. So make sure you have everything unticked besides IPv4. And before you click OK, this is going to temporarily uh, disconnect you for like a couple of seconds. So if the video pauses, don't be alarmed. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. And then you guys' internet may disconnect for a quick second and it will be fine. Now, next step, we're going to go ahead and right click on the ethernet again. Let's click on properties. Let's go ahead and click on configure. From here. Let's click power management to the far right. Make sure all of these boxes here are unticked. After these all unticked, let's head over to advanced. You guys are going to see advanced EEE. Now, depending on you guys' Windows version, it might not look exactly like mine, but follow along the best I can as some of the settings do correlate. So advanced EEE, make sure this is disabled. This is energy efficient Ethernet. We do not want that on. ARP, leave it all enabled. Auto disable gigabit, leave it disabled. Energy efficient Ethernet, let's disable. Flow control, we're going to go ahead and disable. As you guys can see, gigabyte light enabled. Green Ethernet enabled. Interrupt moderation, let's go ahead and turn this to disabled. Uh, you guys can use adaptive or medium if you have this, but I'm going to turn mine off to disable. IPv4 checksum. This should be on RX and TX enabled. Uh, jumbo frame or jumbo packet disabled. Large send offload V2 IPv4. Let's turn this off. Same thing for the IPv6 large send offload. Let's turn this off. Receive side scaling. Uh, that's make sure that's might be on for you guys uh, some of them already come on uh, maximum number of RSS queues make sure this is above two or two if you guys only have two but if you have over two make sure it's on your maximum option so I have four as my maximum so I'm gonna use four uh, network address you're gonna leave that alone and s offload you guys are gonna see here we can leave this enabled power saving mode let's disable that as guys, we want to make sure that you guys' internet connection is not being halted by anything else to deliver the best performance to your games so you're not lagging at all. So as you guys can see, priority and VLAN, both enabled. Receive buffers. Let's go ahead and check this out here. 512 is around a good area, so you guys can go ahead and leave that alone. That works perfect. Receive side scaling, enabled like we said shut down wake on LAN. now you guys are gonna disable this speed and duplex you guys can go ahead and leave this alone as well tcp checksum offload ipv4 let's turn this to make sure both are enabled same thing for the ipv6 both enabled udp both enabled down here transmit buffers it's going to be 128. You guys can leave this default. Doesn't make too much of a difference. Uh, wake on magic packet. You want to disable this. 
wake on magic packet when system whatever it says there disabled wake on pattern disabled and w o l and shut down link speed you guys can go ahead and leave this alone so as you guys can see this is completely optimized now now we're gonna go ahead and hit ok now after you guys do hit ok you might lose internet temporarily that will be completely fine it's gonna reset and optimize you guys' network settings now let's go ahead and click on the bottom left again and let's type in reg edit it's gonna bring up registry editor let's go ahead and open it up so we're gonna start off by going H key local machine click the little left arrow of it we're gonna go and head over to software we're gonna scroll down and look for Microsoft we're gonna scroll all the way down and we're looking for Windows now so you guys can see Windows here or oh, excuse me Windows NT is actually what we're looking for Windows NT then we're gonna go to Windows current version then we're gonna click the little left arrow of that and then we're gonna look for multimedia As you guys can see it's right here let's go ahead and click the left arrow again and I'll leave the steps in the description below for you guys to follow along we're gonna go ahead and click system profile and as you guys can see we're gonna look for network throttling index now you guys are gonna double click this and click on decimals and make sure this is on 10 mine is already on 10 after you set it to 10 here click OK and if you guys do lose internet it'll be very temporarily but you guys will be fine alrighty guys well I hope this tutorial really helped you guys I'm gonna see you guys in the next video if this helped leave a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next one